In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Chinese keywords research on Beidou. Beidou Keywords Bank is not an open source, uh, which means you have to open an account and then you are able to use the sources, try to check the keywords. And right now, I log in my account, which is in BeiduTongji.com. And then I'm going to create a campaign so that I can try to input some keywords and then start the research. So there are a lot of related keywords for you to choose. And right now, I open the page and and then I click to create a campaign. And then there is a blank here. I can input the keywords, for example, which is trading platform, foreign currency trading platform. And I input the Chinese keywords, Tai. So which is foreign currency trading platform. And then I click the search. So there are a lot of related keywords appear on the page. And the service allow you to download the keywords in Excel. So I so that I can study the keywords and then sort the ranking as I need. So I, I check there are a lot of related keywords. They are hot. And then I download to my computer so that I can have time to study the keywords. Okay, so this is the the sorted Chinese keywords I just downloaded from the Beidou. And then I put it at the sequence of the search volume. So this column is what I want. This is the total search volume of the keywords. And this column is sorted based on the mobile phone search volume. And this column is based on the computer search volume. And this column is the competition of the keywords. And then this one is the reference cost pay per click if you choose the pay-per-click service on Beidou. And so this is the price reference if you want to pay for, for the service in Beidou. But anyway, at present, I'm trying to find the right keywords we are going to target. And the search total volume is the data what I want to do. So the first of all, on the top four, the keywords, they are very hot and a big volume, but they are not related with my target consumer and market because the keywords is too big, which is not related with the foreign currency trading platform. And so start from the six and seven, I find which means foreign currency trading platform, which is what I want. So let me check his search volume for one week. The search volume per week is 3,661. And the search volume on mobile phone is 798. And the search volume on computer is 2,863 and the competition is rank two, two level. So from this data, I can see that most of the users who search for this keywords foreign currency trading platform, they prefer to use the computer. And so the computer users are more important than the mobile phone user. And then I'm going to focus on the computer users in the future when I target for the keywords. So let me scroll down to see any other related keywords. For example, and these two keywords, their search volume may be lower, but they are, they are more useful 
for the other promotional purpose. For example, if I want to create a post related with the foreign currency trading platform, and I find this one is good, uh, in Chinese, which means uh, 外汇交易平台排名 that is the ranking, uh, the top ranking of the foreign currency trading platform in China. And so this is very good if I to be used as the topic sentence uh, at the subject, if I want to create a post, a blog to promote my some of my services or product. And the second one, another one, 外汇平台有哪些 which is the question which where uh, what are the useful or what are the best uh, foreign currency trading platforms? This is a question um, which is very useful if I choose it to to create a post, a blog. And I, if I have more time, I'm able to continue to compare and choose a lot of useful keywords from the data. Uh, so that this is the way to find many, many active and effective and useful among the Chinese users. So that this is the way how I choose and sort the Chinese keywords. Uh, hopefully this video is useful to you. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you.